With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If we talk about this question, this given question is two balls of different masses, one lighter and v and the other happier are thrown vertical vertically upward with the same initial speed. Which one will rise to the greater height? Now, let us suppose the mass of the ball for the first ball is m1 and for the second ball is m2. And again, we are supposing that m1 is greater than m2. That means m1 is heavier and m2 is lighter. And we have thrown both of these balls with the velocity u in the upward direction. We have to find out the height raised by these particular balls. So, as we know that when they attain the maximum height, their velocity will be 0. At maximum height, their velocity will be 0. So, let us try to find out velocity using the equation V equals to U plus AT. Now, in this equation, we can clearly see that during this whole motion, the acceleration is in the downward direction, which is equals to acceleration due to gravity on the ball. So, velocity is in upward direction and uh, acceleration is in downward direction. So, we will be assuming the upward direction as positive and the downward direction as negative. So, here also we will be applying the same equation V equals to U plus AT. Okay. Now, since the acceleration is minus g and velocity is 0, so 0 equals to u minus gt. Now, here also, velocity is 0 and initial speed is u, acceleration is minus g and time is t. So, we are having time as u by g. This is the time which is required to attain the maximum height. Now, we have to find out we have to find out the height. So, we will use another equation which is given by v square minus u square equals to 2as. Now, let's say displacement is h max, the maximum height. So, this from this equation, we can find out h max as v square minus u square by 2a. But here, v square will be 0 since final velocity is 0. So, this is minus u square divided by minus 2. 2g. So, this negative negative will cancel out. So, ultimately we are having maximum height as u square by 2g and for this ball also we will be applying the same equation v square minus u square equals to 2as. So, from here h max will be given by since v square will be 0 final velocity is 0 at the maximum height. So, this will be minus u square by minus 2g. So, negative negative will again cancel out. Again we are having the maximum height as u square by 2g and you can clearly see that the maximum height expression is same for both the balls and it is also independent of mass. It is also independent of mass of the ball. So, whatever is the mass of ball, the maximum height attended will be same. So, the question which one will rise to greater height? So, they will rise to, they both will rise to same height. They both will rise to same height. This is our answer. I hope you understood. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.